Hi everyone, it's Natasha from Button Nose Crochet. Today in this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make the Alaskan Waffle Shawl. This shawl is a, is a basic reversible waffle pattern and then trimmed with a moss stitch border. This pattern, I would say, would be great for an adventurous beginner uh, because you learn how to make a post stitch and in the long run you end up with a beautifully textured shawl. Now the shawl naturally curves. In thicker weight yarns this curve will be pronounced a lot more. This yarn here is Shep's stone washed and I used a four millimeter hook. In the pattern it says that if you, you want to use whatever weight yarn that you want use a hook one to two sizes bigger than recommended so that way you end up with a beautiful drape in the fabric and that way it's not too stiff because as a shawl you want it to drape nicely and not be like a blanket on you now i'd like to thank barbara for inspiring me to design this pattern this pattern um she requested um, if I knew of any waffle shawls because she lives in Alaska thus the name Alaskan waffle shawl and basically I searched the internet I couldn't find anything so I thought well why not make a reversible waffle shawl so that way whenever you put it on it doesn't matter which way it doesn't matter at all because it looks the same on either side so I have made and started making another one and this is using Karen Big Cakes the colorway is honey glazed and as you can see between the different yarn weight sizes the bigger the yarn the more of a texture you get this one here I used a six and a half millimeter hook and see how it just it's just drapes so nicely and it's so soft now I do live in a temperate climate that's why um, I really haven't made a shawl because the simple fact that um, I wouldn't really have a use for it but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll be making a sample in some Stylecraft Special Iran, and I'm going to be using a 6.5mm hook. So to start off with, the pattern says to chain 4 and slip stitch to the first chain to form a ring. Another option is to make a magic ring. So to make a magic ring, you put the yarn over your fingers like that so the tail on the inside of your hand wrap it around and cross it over secure that the the yarn from your ball put your hook under the first loop pull through and chain to secure and you've got a magic loop okay we want to chain three for our first row so the pattern says to make two double crochet chain one three double crochet into the ring so we'll make two double crochet yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Chain one, three double crochet. And then once you've done that, pull if you've made a magic ring you pull the tail and it pulls it shut and that is our first row 
row two. First we need to turn our chain three, two double crochet in the first stitch, so in that same stitch as you, the last stitch of the previous row, so two double crochet. Now we want to make a front, front post double crochet around the next two stitches. So to make a front post double crochet, put our hook from the front around the back to the front around the post of that double crochet stitch. Yarn over, pull through a loop, pull through two, pull through two your first front post made. Do that again, yarn over, around the post from the front to the back, pull through a loop, pull through two, pull through two. So we've made our first two front post double crochets. Next we want to make two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet in the chain one corner. And then we want to make two more post stitches. So yarn over, insert your hook from front to back around the post, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over, Go around the post of the stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. And then we want to make three double crochet in the third chain of the previous row. That third chain can be tricky to get, so you just have to be careful where you put it. And I do recommend going into the chain because what if you decide to block your shawl it will stretch a lot better on the edge and then you won't have a, have a gap on the edge. So that's row two. Turn and we'll go on to row three. Row three. Pattern says to chain three two double crochet in the same stitch, so that's that first stitch, front post double crochet around the next two stitches, so again around the post, Double crochet in the next two stitches. Front post double crochet in the next two stitches. We'll do our corner, which is two double crochet, chain one, Two double crochet. Now the side here we do two front post double crochet around the post, so yarn over, around the post, yarn over, pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Double crochet in the next two stitches.
front post double crochet around the next two and then the last stitch which is the chain three in the third chain we make three double crochet So that's our third row. As you can see the texture is starting to come out and also too on the other side it's starting to reverse the pattern. Now on to row four. So we need to turn, chain three, two double crochet in the first stitch Now the pattern has some star asterisks. This is a repeat of stitches. So we need to, sorry, we need to front post double crochet over the next two first. I'm stepping ahead of myself. So the repeat is double crochet times by two, front post times by two. We do that to the corner and I'll meet you at the corner so we're at the corner and we're going to make two double crochet chain one two double crochet in that chain one corner That's our corner and now we're going to go two front post double crochet around the next stitch and then we're going to do what it says in the star again double crochet times by two front post times by two and we repeat that to the second last stitch I'll meet you at the end. So we're at the last stitch of the row, the chain three. We do three double crochet in that top of the chain. Now our next row is basically the pattern. It's a one row repeat and it's what we've been doing. So our next row row five we have to turn chain three two double crochet in that first stitch front post in the next two over the next two and then the star says between the stars it says double crochet times two front post times two we repeat that to the corner and then we do our corner which is two double crochet chain one two double crochet so I'll meet you at the corner so I've completed to the corner and then I've done the corner of two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. Next, front post around the next two stitches. And then we repeat the star sequence of double crochet times by two, front post times by two. And we'll repeat that to the last, second last stitch and then we'll put three double crochet in the top of the third chain. So I'll meet you at the end of the row. So that's row five complete. You continue repeating row five to whatever size that you'd like your shawl to be. Uh, recommended would be about 60 inches across from like across the top here. And next we're going to be doing the border, moss stitch border. 
I'm going to be using white just to show you where to place your stitches. It's pretty simple. Um, and get some scissors. And when I fasten off, I always like to chain one and pull that tight. Just so that way it doesn't go loose on us. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be just starting after row five. So I like to do standing stitches. So you just make a slip slip knot, put your hook in the in the loop, and then because we're going to be starting with a single crochet, basically a standing stitch is a slip knot on the hook, and then can and then you do your stitch so for a single crochet you just hop into the first stitch there pull up a loop and you've got a single crochet for a double crochet you have the loop on the hook yarn over and then you just continue your your um stitch as per normal now it says to have two sing two single crochet in that first stitch and then chain one and single crochet in the next stitch next we need to chain one skip one stitch single crochet in the next and we repeat that to the corner chain one skip one single crochet. A moss stitch can be known as linen stitch or granite stitch so it's pretty much a it's a great stitch really to have knowledge of. So you continue repeating chain one, skip one, single crochet chain one, skip one, single crochet. Now we'll always stop one stitch before the corner. So we chain one, skip one stitch and in the corner we make a single crochet, chain two, single crochet next we want to repeat what's in the star asterisk so chain one skip one stitch single crochet in the next so as you can see the moss stitch is, is starting to come along so we'll just repeat that to the end and we'll we will land on the second last uh, second last stitch so we'll only have our chain three left I'll meet you at the end so I'm at this at the end at the second last stitch so what we want to do is chain one and put two single crochet in the third chain of the previous row and that's your first row done turn chain one that does not count as a stitch we're going to put single crochet Two single crochet in that first stitch, chain one, skip the single crochet, single crochet in the chain one space. So we just keep doing that, chain one, skip one stitch single crochet in the next so 
you're working in the chain spaces and we just repeat that to the corner and I'll meet you at the corner so I'm at the corner what we do we chain one skip the last stitch and then we make a single crochet chain two single crochet in the chain two corner and then we repeat the start asterisk chain one skip one stitch single crochet in the chain one space chain one skip one stitch single crochet in the chain one space and we repeat that until the last chain one space so at the last chain one space we've got two single crochet remaining so what we do we chain one single crochet in the next stitch sorry my bad So we chain one, skip the next stitch, two single crochet in the last stitch. So we've made our second row of moss stitch. As you can see, the single crochets sit in the chain one spaces. Now our third row is a repeat of row two. So we chain one, two single crochet in the first stitch. Chain one, skip one stitch, single crochet in the chain one space. Then we do our repeat chain one skip one stitch single crochet in the next and you just repeat that to the corner and you just make you can make this border as wide as you like um, I find the moss stitch border it actually helps pull the edge in a little because you know how it curves the edge will pull in a little up the top so we're at the corner chain one skip one stitch single crochet chain two single crochet chain one skip one stitch single crochet in the next and we we'll repeat that right to the second last until you have two stitches remaining so i'm at the end of the row i've put a single crochet in the last chain one space chain one now where's that second single crochet skip one stitch that first single crochet can be tricky to get into. So I don't know if you can see, but that's my first single crochet there. And I've got to get into this last one. Two single crochet in the last stitch. And you just repeat, repeat that. For as wide as you like and that is the Alaskan waffle shawl and I hope you enjoy it it's a very relaxing shawl if you're looking for something to to make for yourself or for someone in a home um, and I hope you enjoy making it thank you for watching